I am but a lowly laborer, son of Altor, the local blacksmith. He taught me two things he believed most important in life. How to stand as a man should, and how to create things with metal and other materials. Soon after illness took him from us, my mum told me tales. Stories of a prophecy foretold long ago. Fairy tales for children, or so I thought. I could see my beloved mother struggling with the words. Her forehead beating with sweat and crease with the lines of a hard life. I opened my mouth to stop her, but her eyes saw through me. She had some things to say, and they could not be avoided. Please, mother, tell me. I am ready to hear whatever you have to say. Oh, child, so many times he wanted to talk to you, share with you the truth. I only wish he had done so. So now, it falls to me. Mom, go ahead. It's what father would have wanted. You see, son, once our village was a prosperous and good place. Ruled with fairness and compassion by King Morgan, it was the envy of many in the kingdom until that day. Far away, there existed a tribe of Chaos Dark Lords, known for their power and greed. They came here, intent on claiming our fair village for themselves. Your father resisted and stood up to the foul demons. From that day forward, the village is, as you know it today, our crops. So, I must... I'm afraid so, dearest son. Not only for your father's memory, but to help our farmers and... I... I understand, mother. There is a magician who claims the land to the east, who may be able to... Very well. I shall leave immediately. Of that you can be sure, regardless. Victory is mine!
victory is mine. Greetings, young one. Alas, I am desiring to join what- You sound very capable. I see, friend. I can indeed help you, much more so than the fool to the east of me with his parlor tricks. Fine. Ma Hello, I am Zirin. I trained with the finest mages in all of the realm. I am- Hmm. Talking isn't a requirement. I do not possess the arrogance of the woman to the west of me.
Thank <laughs> you. 